Wonderful, man. Wonderful, wonderful. Let me see if I could get you up on that here real quick. See if you could request to join on IG. I just now started it. Calm. Calm. Turn that down a little bit. Team Chisel, I see you right there. Man, it feel good to be back. Let me get ready to share this myself. Share this. Share that right now. If you request. We good. We locked in, man. I got it. I got it. Got it. Peace, peace, peace. Finally I'm back. It feel good to be back, man. Ah, new year, new year, new year. New year, new year, new year. New year. New year. Even, even the more tremendous and and and, and intentional focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to really lock it now. That's oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole new start, whole new ball game last year. It's going and over with. Can't bring them problems into the new year. Hey, look, hey, look, I know, I know people, I know people, I see people logging on. They happy to see our faces because I'm happy to see your face, yo. I know they happy to see our faces right here. You know what I mean? Wait a minute, man. You know, we had you know, things, life happened, but we know. We back, baby. We back. Yeah, we, we, we right back, back at it. Talking. Live it up nice and early in the mornings again, man. Get it going, man. Get these people, the, the, get these people that spark, that spark of positivity, good energy, motivation. It's that good cup of coffee, that positive cup of coffee right here. <laughs> you know, shout out to everybody out there making moves out there. If you up right now, you're probably getting ready to go to work. You're probably getting ready to tackle your day, and we just here to to, to, to help motivate, inspire you along your way, man. You, you gonna start off with one of them prayers, bro? Oh, nah, you just, uh, it, it look like it's still. Yeah, keep it up. I gotta go off. Let me see. Yeah, because it look like your face down here froze. I'm sitting here thinking I'm talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, shoot. It don't look like it's letting me come back home. Let me see. Let me see if I try to do something. Let me see if I can get you back up in here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we can start with the prayer real quick, then we can get rolling, baby. Let's go. Ah, man, bless me. Yeah, Father Lord, we just want to thank you again for an awesome morning, man. Blessing is waking us up this morning, Father. We ask, Father, that you cover us this year, Father, that you let your works be done, Father, not ours but yours, Father. We just want to lean on you for your understanding, for wisdom, for knowledge, Father. We pray that you lift us. In all my name we pray. Amen. Hey, look, so y'all are tuned in to the first extraordinary morning show of 2024, yo. This is, this is exciting because I think we just been building this thing up because life and life and and we've been life with it, but y'all are tuned in to the early morning extraordinary show with Dante Thomas and Enoch Shari and Busy Randall. These are two young brothers that came up with this concept from building with each other, talking early in the morning over the last couple of years, talking about being a father, talking about business owners, entrepreneurship, God, spiritual journey, family, all the stuff that we talk about here that we think the internet was missing. So we here with it right now for y'all, for us, for everybody. Let's go. Man, it's, it's a great one, man. This is a major time because we're in the new year, right? So we can't dwell on what happened last year, man. You know, we created some momentum, whatever happened through the storms that we've been going through. But, man, it's just a new year really to lock in, man, to lock in and be the greatest version of yourself. That's, mm -hmm. I believe, the greatest version of yourself, man, because now is the time to renew yourself, right? Each and every day we wake up, man, it's a blessing, bro, because somebody around the world not waking up this moment. They ain't here this hour, right? right. So we blessed to be doing this, but also it's a time to really reflect and know that, that you're here for a reason. 
and, and trying to find your purpose, your niche. Everybody don't know their purpose. Everybody don't find it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they don't search for it. They don't, they, don't, they don't push for it, man. People don't love themselves enough to push for their goals and dreams. They give up the first sign of failure. They give up. They mm -hmm. give up, right? Mm -hmm. And they feel it's supposed to be easy. They think nobody else go through failure before they make it to be successful. Because everybody always just look at success in a material side, in a material way. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? What type mm -hmm. of car somebody got? What type of house? How much money somebody got, man? Success is an individual step towards their own goal. That's how I look at it, right? Because I can't get there the way you're going to get there. You might not get there the way I'm going to get there. You might get there a little faster than me. It might take me a little longer. You get what I'm saying? But as long as I'm putting out one foot in front of the other, do my success stories. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's what leads to the ultimate goal of us accomplishing things we're going to accomplish. And also learning that when you serve people, like service of people, man, God going to bless you. But you're going to go through some storms. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to fall. But you just got to be willing to get back up and keep pushing, man. That's and, and, all it come down to, bro. And, and, and the, thing, the thing, too, is it's actually to be very, very intentional right now. Yeah. We got to be very, very, very intentional. We got to move with purpose. We can't be out here freestyling through life. We can't be out here without no plan. All the dream, all the goal is without a plan is a goddamn dream. We got. We can't be out here freestyling through this shit. We got it. It's trial and error, right? Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't had enough trial and error. Now we got. Now we got to strategize. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about yeah. strategizing just on business. We're talking about strategy. Like, what do, what do I want my family to look like? What do I want my life to look like in the next year? Yeah. What am I going to do today? That's going to help me get here. And, and even more importantly, what things am I going to eliminate from my life? That's going. To, that's going. To get me there because it's a lot of distractions. A lot of distractions. A lot a lot of things that go on on a daily basis that take our energy and take our attention and take our attention away from what the real goal is. But that's when I say life be life, right? Life, when life start life and it's meant to distract you, it's meant to throw you off course, it's meant to take you away from what you were initially trying to do. That's when we start talking about discipline. Start finding things that, for me, personally, for me, I started doing things that I, I commit myself to, that I have to constantly do over and over, even if I don't want to. Not one thing, like 10 things. To constantly push it, challenge myself. So I'm already in a mindset of not giving up. I'm already in a mindset of going through. I'm already in a mindset of commitment. You can't uncommit what you, cause you, man, think about it. If you ever went into a parking spot halfway in, it'd be like, nah, I don't want to park here. No, you committed to going into that space. So. So me personally, I'm committed to being the best me I could possibly be. The best husband, the best father, the best friend, the best owner, the best business owner. Whatever it is, I want to be the best that I could be in myself. So I, I start pushing myself and, and putting myself to do things. So morning routines, exercising, reading. You know, I, I started doing scripting recently. I started doing cold plunges. I started playing the guitar. So I started brushing my teeth with the opposite hand. I'm, I'm doing all these things. To, 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 to rewire my brain. And people be like, well, damn, I, I, I thought you had it pretty much together. I do got it together, but this is a, this is a mission that we're going to do for the rest of our lives. This is something I'm going to I'm constantly challenge and push myself for the rest of my life. It don't stop. You don't yeah. get halfway better than stop. Yeah, but see, that's the, that's the part, though, right? If you look at life, like life evolving, right? So everything in life is changing, right? From the bag, of, when you go in the store and buy a bag of chips, from when you go in the supermarket and buy some chicken, from when you go, everything changed, right? You go in yeah. there and overnight it's like it's a new price on something. So if you remain the same, what do you get out of life, right? So you still complain. So even when we talk about right strategizing, right planning, putting these goals down, right, you never really prepare for the unexpected, mm -hmm. for what could ha happen. You feel me? Because we never know what's going to happen. Only thing we could do is, is be equipped mentally, physically, spiritually enough. But, right? but bro, that means you're prepared. Listen, but no, no, listen. But to be, that prepared, means you're prepared. To, to be prepared, you have to be mentally, physically, and spiritually equipped to take on what's going to happen. Because, bro, if you don't have your mind, the physical part of your health and stuff like that together, bro, and to be on a level spiritually, it's easy to stop your plan or a goal that you wrote down on a paper when one thing go wrong. It's easy to deviate from it when life start life and over here with the family or with outside forces that might start attacking you from different areas. Right. 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 
really start strategizing, looking for different ways, right? You start looking at mistakes. Where did I go wrong at? To help you now elevate and develop that mindset to now not make those same mistakes and now look for different ways to increase the revenue of your business or to increase the family life of our kids, our family, our wives. How now can I love my wife better? How can I, what did I do wrong last time that I wasn't showing the emotional side of that I should have been given? But and the thing, the thing that we have to do is address address these things, and then again, that's when we start coming up with the plan. You know, like for example, you just said like like you know you, uh, the, you and the wife, or you and the lady, or whatever, and that's something that we want to make better. We gotta first be able to sit down and say, well, what do we feel isn't going right in our relationship, and what can we do to collectively together to make this better? You know, and, and I, I notice a lot we get on here and we, we talk about. Things like, things oh, like, oh, like well, oh, yeah, I just got to get more discipline or, yeah, yeah, I got to do this. But what are, what are actual what actions and steps that we are taking daily to, to fortify our mind, to get closer to God, to get physically stronger, to get mentally stronger? What are steps and things that we do on a daily? Because a lot of people don't know what to do. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and my, my purpose and my goal, and I just realized my purpose and goal the other day, my purpose and goal is to inspire people and motivate people through my journey in life as I projected creatively. I, you know, yeah. I, I have a business, my business, that's not my purpose. So people, yeah. again, we got to understand what's our purpose, what's our business, what we making money for, and what, what actually fills us up inside. What fills me up inside is somebody calling me, telling me, uh, uh, writing me a message, telling me how much they're inspired by my movement and how much it made them want to push themselves. There's not a single dollar that can add up to the way that makes me feel on the inside. That's my purpose. Now, my business, that's something different. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but the purpose carries on into the business. Because it's, it's, it's the serving of, of people. You get what I'm saying? 100%. So when, when we find the purpose, right, the purpose really is something outside of yourself, right? Not caring about yourself, right? When you start putting more energy into helping others, right? Helping yeah. others to help others improve their life and well-being, to mm -hmm. feed them information, right? To, to show them that things can be done with going through storms, with growing, right? Self-development, right? persevere through whatever you're going through and that takes but for a person to do that right if you to jump on do it meaning you found something so i mean i found something because we, we if we did we want to be here to right now connected right, right. with what we're doing with a purpose right so we found something that gave us a high and gave us a feeling that money can never do you feel what i'm saying it, it can help us it can take care of our families it can buy us things it can do all that but it still will not fill the void of when somebody you don't know walk up to you and say thank you, man. Your mm -hmm. message. But see, I was, but now, 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 now look, just to add on to that, that, right? When you were saying that, that before you go there, one second. Business. Before you go there, one second. I was right, at right. work, right? One second. I was at work tonight. Walking by, the dude stopped me a minute ago, two months ago, to tell us he'd be catching the show in the morning. Mm -hmm. Today, walked by, he said, "Yo, I appreciate you, bro, man. Your messages, I definitely be taking heed to them, bro. They be working." You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That right, right there, nothing could pay me. Nothing. Told me I I cannot get no money. That because and then when he said it to me, I'm like, yo, I appreciate that, bro. That's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. That right, right there, bro. It, and but look, the but peep, thing in the world. But peep game though, uh, uh, bro, because it's real important. Because remember, I was saying like the purpose and in the business, and you said yeah. nah, you said nah, because that also leads into the business. Now yeah. watch how this works. When we out here doing our service, we out here doing these good deeds, we out here doing this shit for free, we out here doing what we're doing right now, that is automatically still marketing. That's still opening ourselves up because how could you not want to, you feel, they, they feel like they trust us. They feel like they can confide in us. These are the natural things that we do. These are natural marketing. This is natural organic marketing. So it does lead back into the business because they like, well, damn, I was listening to his message. Oh. He got a he got a gym. He does training too. Oh, they got they got uh, 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 health products. They can do that. We can do that. So it's it's all a big circle. And again, it's a, it, it all goes back into our purpose, right? And what we yeah. doing is our, our our core of existence. It's, it's, it's the service of people, bro. Yeah. Like when you get to that level, a uh, uh, life, right? Of, of of not not focusing on just yourself. It, it's that's a higher, higher level of, of self. You get what I'm saying? That's when you start getting one with God. You start understanding life more. And yep. you start realizing, yo, when you look back on history of the of leaders, their job was to help people. Service people. That's it. Service people. To help people. To service people. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Everything else came after. Even if you look at some of the great 
great fighters and things like that. Back in the day, uh, when uh, Muhammad Ali was fighting, his, That's job what I was about to say. his job was to inspire people. Yo, he inspired nations. You get what I'm saying? He inspired black communities through a time where it was rough and crazy. Through mm -hmm. what? Boxing, where he became great at, right? He used that dough to actually serve people. So when they started making the money, guess what he was able to do? Actually really help the people. Right. right. So it's just, it's just us, man, going into 2024. Me, personally, me, it's, 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 it's for me to do better than I did last year. So I helped some people last year. I changed some life last year, right? But still, you see, when you start helping some people, sometimes they backtrack. So this year, it's like, okay, how can you feed people more so they don't backtrack? So how can you give them even more than what you used to give them? You get what I'm saying? So now I got to fill myself up more. Now I got to fill my tank up even more to even deliver what I want to deliver to the masses. So mm -hmm. and now I got to change a lot of things with myself, bro. I got to change my thinking again, right? I got to change how I approach me working out again, the foods I'm eating again. It's so much that I got to change, bro, and incorporate back into this life in 2024 because i got to do something way different than last year so to me starting off is nothing but transformation right transformation starts on a daily basis for me the books right we read reading regular the books we read getting in my bible reading that praying right and working on things that i should have been working on right you could be like that you should have been working on nah it wasn't the time for me to work on them things now is the time. So for each individual, we all have different things that's going on in our life, that's playing a part in our life. But now is the time to work on them things. I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel like uh, me personally. I feel like you know now is really a time of execution. Yeah. I feel like you know all last year, all the year, like we didn't, we didn't, it, we didn't been built up to a certain level. Uh -huh. We, I, I mean, it's always room to grow, always want to learn, learn, always challenging, it's always that. But I think now I'm equipped with the skills. I got what it takes. I know I got what it takes. Now it's really about execution. It's about tightening up on my business, getting my business tighter. It's about tightening up at, around the house as a husband, as a father. Just tightening up things because I am who I am now. I didn't, I didn't been on this. I didn't been on this journey like 10, 10 years. Yeah. And I'm still, I'm still getting ice baths. I'm still, I'm still. This is stuff that's gonna go on for the rest of my life. Yeah. But now I think for me personally, it's just about execution about locking in about staying focused about staying disciplined don't let this don't let this go off until three months from now and then get back to it stay on it right now biz yeah you know what i'm saying so like for me it's just like in every day it didn't start on it didn't start on january 1st for me nah it started it started four months ago five months ago for me because i knew this time was coming but with all that being said I had a business deal that went remember remember a couple months ago i told you this had man this shit just fell through yeah it fell through what we supposed mm -hmm. to do? I'm prepared for this. That's what I was saying. I'm like, what, what you got? You can't break me that way. Yeah. All right, look, man. The, the deal didn't happen in the first place. We still doing what we doing. We gonna still yeah. continue to do what we gonna do. And then rather than looking at that as a bad, this is what I'm saying. My mind changed because instead of looking at it as something like, damn, that didn't go through. That God saying that wasn't time for that right now. Right. Let's focus on the next thing. Now, if we start focusing on what did, what went wrong and what I did and what we did and this and that, then that's taking away energy from the next step that we look at projecting forward. And I'm not doing the backwards thing in, in 2024. We already didn't did it. Fact. So I agree with up. <laughs> look, I agree. You know, we kicked it. We built. We've been talking about this since September. <laughs> right? Since September, right? Yes. Creating momentum going into the new year, right? 100%. About being prepared. About being prepared, not getting ready, already ready, already prepared, going to it. So all we did was went in running. That's all we did. You feel what I'm We went in running, and we was running through storms. Like, through storms, We used to call each other with the, yo, this is out. You feel what I'm So we went running through storms. But everybody can't do that, bro. It, you got to be well-equipped mm -hmm. to do that, man. Mm -hmm. To when everything feel like it's falling apart, it ain't going right. Feel me? And you thought you had it going right. And then it just turned upside down on you. Now you got to make mad adjustments. Mad adjustments. I mean. You got to pivot. You got to do so much, so many different things. But that's the part of life. And that's where the inspiration come out. That's where the encouragement come out, right? Well, we it, done it, with motivation. We, we done with motivation, right? But this is where the inspiration, right? The encouragement come out. That's when the true commitment, accountability come out. Like, yo, nah, I got to hold myself accountable for why these things went wrong, too. 
You feel what I'm saying? Some, the, hey, think about it. These, these obstacles and challenges are really just meant to guide us. Yeah. It, it, that's how you if, if these things ain't happen, we get comfortable and happy and shit. And you right. know, when these when these things happen, it's like, huh, got you right on the spread. Got you, got yeah. you again. Tighten up, tighten up. You know yep. what I'm saying? Put you back in line. <laughs> Put you right back in line. <laughs> Look, you be on your high horse. Yeah. Put you back in line. So me, I just been adding more like to do things I never mm -hmm. do to feed people. Like now, you know, I'm, I'm working on something. Like I said, I've been working on a couple things. Like even just feeding the community, man. A lot of people don't have health insurance. So I connected with uh, him and Jay Austin. You feel what I'm saying? I'm putting together a health event for people to come up and sign up for health insurance. Probably like a week. I had a date coming out probably in a couple of days. You feel what I'm saying? But I've been putting myself out there to do more for my community. You feel what I'm saying? That's dope. People don't go to the doctor, so I've been promoting that. I've been talking about that. Yo, go to the doctor. Go get a checkup. Go get your blood work done. You feel what I'm saying? I'm working on uh, doing a seminar probably like a, a month. I'm going to give it about a month. Kick it with somebody today. Talk to them about some things I need to uh, for them to do in the background of what I need done. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? But these are the things that I've been doing and planning for a long time but wasn't getting it done. You feel what I'm saying? When I should have been getting it done, but nah, it wasn't that time because I had blockage myself that I had to remove. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that I removed that, I see clear, right? I'm moving in the direction. Now I've been making it happen, man. So I've been putting things together. I've been walking in that direction, not just talking. I don't tell people what I'm doing. I'm saying it now because I'm putting it in the universe. You, and you execute. Make it happen. You, you execute. Yeah. So I'm executing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm putting it together. So. In 2024, starting out already, already got a whole agenda, bro. It's already thing. See, what a lot of people don't do. So when New Year's is coming in, some people probably partying, drinking. This is what I was doing. You feel what I'm saying? Throwing the vision board together. This is what I was doing. Some people might just party and drinking. I was, I was doing that. That was my fun. That was my partying. Some wine, me and a wife. And that was my fun, bro. It's you sat down and when, sat down when, and put it together. Yeah, when 12 o'clock coming in, I'm already into what I'm supposed to be doing. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's down, it's in stone. Now it's execution time. The whole is up there. Everything I need is up there for 2024. You feel me? That's how so now I, I hey, bro. To execute. Hey, and, 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 and what's so dope about it is, man, you got a vision, you got a plan, and that's what we were saying earlier. And once you got that, like you said, it's right there. Now I gotta go to execute and start checking shit off. Checking shit off. You know, we we just added three new products to our to our to our thing. We got yeah, the exactly. CMOS, the Blast, the CMOS. We got the gummies now. Just formed a new yeah. partnership. We also a partnership. Got another partnership back. Really yeah. looking for a, for a major expansion. You know what yeah. I'm saying with it? Like we uh we 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 really we really been locking down, grinding, man. And it's it's so cool to be able to speak with you and hear what you're doing, man. Because you know. In the mix of this, I talk up to you a lot. You know, not every day, but we talk a lot. And like you said earlier, man, we be going through a lot of stuff just like everybody else too. But once, once you, when you execute these things, man, it's inspiration. Just even hear you saying what you're doing inspires you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, man, God bless you, bro. Keep up the good work, man. Let's keep on impact. You feel me? Sam, you, bro, but you know that's our journey. That's what we talk about, man. And it's always about to push somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? Never just about me. And are you? Because when we talk and kick it, bro, we always pushing each other. Are we talking about something we want to do to feed the communities? You get what I'm saying? Right. Through right. social media, the airwave, to motivate somebody else. We want to motivate them just to get them started, but we want to inspire them, man. We want to encourage them. We want them to keep going. We want to make a true commitment and keep going. You hey, know what I'm look, saying? can I can I can I give him some inspiration? Real yeah, quick? you are right. Before 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 anybody even say anything, because there's a couple people tuned in right now. Mm -hmm. There's some inspiration for your ass. Where you was at 10 years ago? Yeah. Where you was at 10 years ago, Tay? Where? Hey, I was locked up 10 years ago. You was in prison, right? I was in prison. You was in prison. I was in prison 10 years ago. Where you at right now? If home, I'm about the crib. Home with your kids, you got your business. You got, got listen, it. I got, this is I'm, inspiration. I'm Freedom. You living? Listen, this man, this man about to have a, a, a health insurance to get people. Listen, this man was in prison ten years ago. You gotta understand. I got a, I, I run a six figure business that I started out in my kitchen. Yeah. I'm, I say this to say that. I say, I say that to say this. We could do anything we put our mind to. Your past is not define you. Facts. This man was locked up. I was sitting in my basement years, years whoosh, just like, whoosh, like that because it, yeah. we had it in here. We had it in here. 
and anything I could ever share, that's what I want to give out, man. That's yeah. the inspiration. We could do anything we put our minds to. That's a fact. No matter where we were before. Facts. Facts. <laughs> you know? Facts. It's all up to us, though. It's all up to us to, to what tomorrow holds. You feel what I'm saying? It's in our hands. Change only takes your seconds, tenths of seconds. If a person really did it in their mind, it takes tenths of seconds to change somebody's life. If a person really wanted to change, right, it takes tenths of, tenths of seconds to have them thoughts and say, yo, I'm starting to do this now. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But it's, it's what, it's what, who we hang around, it's what we watching, it's what we feeding ourselves, our minds, our bodies, right? It's all that takes place, bro, because I was in that place before. One mm -hmm. part time in my life, I lived that dark side. Oh, you feel what I'm saying? And I couldn't figure it out. You feel what I'm saying? No matter what was happening, I couldn't figure out no matter how good of a person I might have been, somebody say, no matter what I was doing, take care of the family, something at that point in my life, yo, it's nothing like now. You feel me? Mm -hmm. To evolve and be here and be doing what a, what I'm doing now, bro, it, it's, it's nothing like it, man. So we just, I just inspire people to tell them, man, listen, you could come out that dark hole. You could come up out that dark hole. It's just, do you want to? Do you want to? That's like when people start the gym, they already start. For me, then they give you 20 excuses why they can't keep going. So they don't contemplate that in their mind over and over again to make reasons of why they can't keep going. But if they help fail today, they're going to say, oh, God, please help. Please, please take this away from me. No, you ain't do what you're supposed to have been doing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This thing, this God ain't, ain't just do that to you for nothing. And, 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 that, and that's why I was saying, too, uh, bro, it's so important to find things to, to commit and, and form mental discipline and mental grit. Yeah. Things that you say, I'm going to do no matter what. If it's raining, if it's, if it's a storm, if my kids got school, it don't matter. It don't matter if it's a little, little thing like brushing your teeth, but that means you did that every day for, for, for a month. If you can do one thing every single day for a month, you can do the next thing. So you just start, keep on compounding, keep on adding things on. That you, like you just said, busying ourselves with purposeful intentions of things that we could do like to, to impact people's lives, impact our lives, whatever the case is. Facts. Facts. And, and that's what it come down to, man. So like if you out there today, man, today is the day to renew yourself. Today is the day to become the individual you always wanted to become, something you dreamed of, you thought about. You might have talked to somebody before. You might have, whatever, wait, lose weight, new job, uh, go back to school, own, start a business, whatever it is. Today is the day you can get started, man. All today it takes is a started. thought. A thought. It takes a thought, man. A thought. Everything we're doing now took a thought, bro. And we just even look this it. phone. Look, the phone was in somebody's head before. Yeah. The stand was in somebody's head before. I, 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 somebody said to themselves, "Well, damn, they got these phones. We could probably make a little stand for it." Everything was a thought. <laughs> a thought, bro. A thought. The only thing people did start watering it and executing. Start watering it and executing. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what we want you to do, man. Plant your seeds today. Start watering them and watch them grow. Just stay consistent. Some going to die. You might got to pick the seeds back out, turn the, uh, the, the, the dirt over, because, you know, fertilizer is making it grow right. And then, you know, put the seeds back in, start, start watering it again. Just watch it grow. And do challenge time, yourself. you're going to see something start coming up. And do challenge yourself. Time. Push yourself. Stay true to you. Stay true to your exactly. vision. Stay true to whatever it is you're trying to do and lock in and get it, man. Get it and believe in yourself, man. One hundred and fifty percent. Hey, look, and not 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 everybody else. Like you can't be waiting for everybody else to believe in what you're doing. Nah, you just not doing. You gotta. Do it. That don't, it don't work that way. Listen, you, you can't. Nobody don't, don't, nobody don't give a crap about your vision and what you're trying to. Yeah, do. You gotta make that shit important. They gonna shoot that down. They might tell you why you trying to do it and. <laughs> or they might just think it in their head like that shit ain't gonna work. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you fake yeah. It. You feel me? But that's yes, it. You out there, man. Today's the day to be new, to renew yourself. Today's the day, man. No more excuses. Work on yourself, man. Hour a day could go a long way, man. You can spend 15 minutes reading, 15 minutes meditating, and 30 minutes working out, man. And I guarantee you, you have a hell of a day. That's one hour every day if you do that. That's going to start changing everything else in your life. Everything else is going to 
start changing. If you just start doing them things right there every day. Every Read, day. exercise, you meditate. You meditate. You feel what I'm saying? And that's because it's a three. People can add more, but or whatever, however they feel about that. Them three right there, yo, changes people's lives. We know prayers in there. You know, you jump up, you pray. Yeah. That goes with the meditation. So you can add mad stuff, but you can combine that with meditation. I like to combine that with meditation because the mind is free. It takes you somewhere else. So you basically get to your higher power. You get to connect with things like that. So I just connect that in there with that. But whatever you feel you can add or whatever you feel you want to work on in your 15-minute windows, and get 30 minute block or whatever, man. Do it. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing stop you. But I'm gonna leave with that because we got like two minutes, man. Okay. Yeah, hey, look. Hey, I, I, ain't, I ain't got too much more. I got a lot more. We can go on for hours, but we'll be back. We'll be back Wednesday. <laughs> we'll be back Wednesday, man. We'll be look, back Wednesday. We just want y'all to execute today, man. Execute. Work on something. If you don't got your journal, man, go out there and get your journal. Go out there and get your planner. Get, use your phone, the notes part in your phone. You got iPhones, all these phones. Use your iPhone, man. Put your notes in there. Write something down today, man. Today, man. Hey, look. Man, you and, and then once you write that cool, thing man. down, be sure uh, that you see it out. See right. it out. Don't, don't stop, stop it. it. Don't see stop it. out, man. You got to see it out. That That right. is the most rewarding feeling is to see it out. Regardless right. to the outcome. Right. Right. Just see it out. Facts. Right. <laughs> I know my Jeff just Jeff appreciate you, brother. It's my man Jeff Hunt, man. What's up, Jeff? Hey man, Jeff, Jeff right, yo, this I, I, that's my mentor right there, man. Listen, this guy right. I, I gotta do this, Jeff, right now, man. That you're alive, man. I give all my all the flowers to Jeff, man. When we was in prison, man, this is one of the guys mentored me, man, who stopped my game sharp, man, with the health and wellness, man, took me to a whole new level, man, of studying. Yo, I couldn't pronounce words. He was like, yo, don't worry about that, man. Come to my room every day, man, as many times you need to. We're going to study. You're going to get this. Man, he, man, he, 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 man, it's a blessing, man. Jeff, I appreciate you. I love That's you, what's up, brother. man. Thank That's you, brother. Up. I got to give you flowers. You're going to lie. You love us up. I appreciate it, man. This is a part. No, you played a part in this, bro, for me to be on here doing what I'm doing. Speaking the way I speak, man. So I definitely got to shout you out, man. I see you on here, man. Where's Bond? We used to be in there, man. And that unit, man, we study every day, man. We ain't miss a beat, man. Every day, 7 o'clock p.m., we was at that table studying, baby. <laughs> Getting people in. People don't understand that part right there, man. But hey, well, man. people, people don't never see that, and that's the whole thing. People will never understand what you went through and get to where you're at. They don't know, baby. They don't know, man. That was my school right there, man. So. Jeff, I appreciate you, man. But you, listen, anybody out there that's listening, yo, listen, you can make it happen, man. Believe in yourself, man. Go out there and make it happen today, man. Go make it happen, man. We're going to leave y'all with that, man. Go make it hey, happen. Hey, listen, man. go through it, grow through it, then glow through it. That's I the said one more time. Go through time. it, go through it, grow through it, then glow through it. Rinse and repeat. Uh, We're going to keep on doing that, all right? There you go, right there. Peace. Peace out, y'all. One love, y'all. Peace. I'll talk to you, bro. Yeah, peace.